everyone. Welcome back to my show. This week I have with me Lizzie Hubbard. Lizzie is a sophomore on the cheer team. She's studying physical therapy. Um, thanks for joining me today, Lizzie. Yeah, no problem. Uh, super cool. I'm super glad that you're here with me today. Um, I guess we'll just start out by saying, like, how did you, how did you get into cheerleading? Um, well, I started doing little mommy me classes, like gymnastics. With your mom? Mm -hmm. oh. With at like two years old, and obviously I didn't. Well, I don't like heights, so I didn't like the beam, and then I didn't know how to do the bars or whatever else <laughs> is in gymnastics, and I really just like to tumble and throw myself on the ground, and I would run around the gym. So my mom was like, "Well, maybe we should start our tumbling classes." So then, when I got older, I did tumbling classes, and then I tried out for like all-star cheer got into that a little bit um didn't like all-star cheer because of the drama so i went to middle school cheer and then was with, with like school cheer and now i coach all-star but yeah just got into it like that that's super cool when you say you coach all-star um if you watch some of my shows in the past you'll we talked about the all-star but um where are you coaching at and how is that like what ages do you coach um, so I coach at PCA. It's called Power Cheer Athletics. Um, it's in like an the All About Kids facility. Um, it's over in Crestwood, and then we have there's a Blink and Baker location as well. And um, I coach about the team right now is about six to ten years old. Okay. So little girls, and we're just learning like pretty much the basics of cheerleading. <laughs> How is it like coaching children? Because <laughs> you know, sometimes kids, they don't listen, and cheerleading is kind of crazy, so how is it, how do you get them to, like, focus? Yeah, not a lot of them, since they are so little, not a lot of them, like, know how to focus and, like, don't like to listen and don't really know what they're doing either. They don't know <laughs> what cheerleading entails, so, like, it's a lot of, like, okay, well, we have to do this or we're going to run laps, or you have to do this, you have to bend your legs to get them up in a stunt, and you have to go backwards and look at your hands when you're doing a back bend and stuff like that. Just like teaching them how to cheer and then getting them together and like in a routine too. Yeah, for sure. Do they like, I feel like as a kid you like to run personally. If I was ever told that I had to run laps, I would listen. But like, is that a good motivator for them? Or are they just like, yay, running? Um, there's like maybe one or two girls on the team that like to run. So okay. they don't have a problem with it. But everybody else is like, please don't make us condition. <laughs> I guess at any age, running is not yeah. fun. I've never liked running, I but am not a runner. <laughs> that's really cool that you um, are getting into coaching while also being a cheerleader. Um, so you cheer here at Bellarmine, obviously, mm -hmm. hence the shirt. Um, what's your favorite part of like Bellarmine cheer? Um, my favorite part is the team and probably like stunting. Um, just around, I guess, about cheer itself is stunting. Um, I like. Being like in the beginning of the seasons, we do like the switching the groups to seeing who works best with what like flyer and bases and everything. I really like doing that because you get to like not really get to know everybody, but like you get to talk to everybody on the team, which is fun. And then obviously when you finally get your group, you like get a little close knit like bond with a few of the people on the team, not just like your friends, but like with everybody. So then it makes makes um, team bonding easier. Definitely and. You said you like stunting the best. Um, what position are you? Have you tried different ones? Like, how is that working out for you? So, m I'm a main base for the most part. I can also side base and I can back spot, but I'm really short, so I don't back spot very often. And then I really only side base when it's needed. So, like at a game, if somebody's gone and I'm not in a group at that point, I can side base. Um, but yeah. You you never tried flying. Um, I tried it one time when I was seven, and I went up into a prep and cried. So, <laughs> <laughs> Not cry. You know what? I still do that. <laughs> so don't even worry. So main basing, um, do you want to explain? Just, uh, just a little bit for people who are watching who may not know the specifics. We didn't get into this in my last year video. So just, just for main basing, um, I'll actually insert a video of Lizzie main basing. We'll point her out so you can know. But um, what is that? Um, mean for people who don't know yeah so a main base is they stand on the I guess the right of the flyer and um, they have technically they have the most control of the stunt so like in for example a full up they control like the spin of the flyer and they control how high the full up goes so if you go all the way to up to extension you go all the way above your head or if you just go to a prep and then they have like a specific grip that they use and then they like have the most control and then the side base is just like 
a throw and catch, hope for the best type of thing. <laughs> yep, yep, absolutely. <laughs> that was a good. That was a good explanation. Um, so I know that your favorite part is stunting. We've said that. I know in the past you have dealt with a back injury. How have you? First of all, you can just tell the story about how that happened, and then we can go into like how have you moved past it? How does it like? How is it affecting you today? Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so my junior year of high school, we were. We're, we won our state championship that year. Yay. Everything was going good, and we were on our way to nationals. It was about like mid January, um, and we were practicing for we were practicing for nationals, and it was a Sunday. I'll get to that later, but we okay. practiced on a Sunday, um, and we I was going I was tumbling with a few people, and I was mid air. I thought those people were gonna hit me, so I fell flat on my back and landed just right to where. I had like a compression fracture, which is like I landed on my back and one of my vertebrae just said <laughs> into a million pieces. So went to the hospital, had surgery, blah, 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 was in the hospital for a week um, and then was out for six months. So obviously didn't compete at nationals. Um, don't remember what we placed at nationals either, but it was all a <laughs> blur. Um, so I was out for six months and then July, my I continued on for my senior year because one, I didn't have to try out because we had a rule where, like, if you were in fourth year in high school, you didn't have to try out, but you just had to, like, lead the people going to tryouts, like, in the cheers and dances and whatever. Um, so I continued on for my senior year because it was, I was thinking it was going to be my last year. I wasn't actually planning on cheering in college, but then I was like, well, why not try it out, make some friends, because I didn't know anybody coming into Bellarmine, so tried out for the team at Bellarmine, made it with trying out with a video because I couldn't tumble at the time. <laughs> I remember uh, that. <laughs> um, and so last year, um, I still kind of couldn't s tumble. I like had to get, I could stunt and I could do like standing tumbling, but I hadn't like worked into running tumbling yet. So then obviously I was doing a running tumbling pass when I broke my back. So I've had a, a mental block about that one. Um, and it's just a little bit of a struggle, but we're overcoming that as of recently and doing much better. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Um, so moving forward from like your injury um, d and like making that choice, even though you had the injury to come to college, do you think that you made the right choice? Like, do you think it was a good, a good choice, I guess? Um, do you have any regrets about it at all? Or how are we feeling about, you know, cause you weren't planning on do it and, and now you're here. Yeah, um, my like biggest goal in cheerleading was really not to cheer, or like a Bellarmine cheerleader, was really not to cheer, but just to get to know some people and actually like have people to talk to on campus and stuff. So I don't really have any regrets about it. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's such a blast and all the people on the team are amazing. Um, the coaches are good too. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really don't have any regrets. It's been a lot of fun and I've got to experience a lot of new things such as Daytona Nationals and cheering at Bellarmine Games and yeah. Well good, I'm glad that you don't regret your choice. Um, something else really awesome and fun about Lizzie too is that last year she actually won the Bellarmine Spirit Award for the cheerleading program. Um, I can personally attest that she does bring a lot of spirit. So how do you always keep uh, like yourself and the team motivated and like how are you always bringing the energy even when we have a two and a half hour practice <laughs> until 10.30 at night. Yeah, it is really hard because we do practice really late and a lot of people's energy is not there because it's really late at night and everybody just wants to go to bed or it's really early in the morning and nobody wants to be <laughs> at cheer practice and it's really hard. And, um, but, I mean, caffeine is a lot. <laughs> a good Alani, a good coffee. Secret, that's yes. your secret. But um, just, I don't know, I'm just a happy person in general, so like I feel like playing some music and getting everybody's energy up is really important for team sport. I agree, and you do a good job. Um, but going off that a little bit, <laughs> I heard a rumor that you're really good at doing the gritty, and oh, you do the gritty a lot. Bad. I really want to gritty, actually. <laughs> if you gotta, if you want to see my gritty, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're very good at grittying, um, and just doing stupid dances like that all the time. I guess is that part of just like being your goofy self. Like, are you like that outside of practice, or is it just like, I'm here. I have to hold my title of the Team Spirit Award. Um, no, it's not really just at practice. It's really just my personality. I really just am the most random, awkward. It's 
I try, I don't have a lot of free time, so my free time is anywhere that I'm at, so I have to take out my weirdness <laughs> somewhere, and a lot of the times it's a practice, but yeah, like if there's a song on in the store or something, I'll just randomly start dancing, and <laughs> some I get weird looks all the time, but it's okay. You know, it, it paid off, because it, here we are. Yeah, exactly. Well, Lizzie, good thank vibes. you. Oh, good vibes. <laughs> We're at, that's something that she has started at practice, is doing this before we like perform and you say good vibes where did good that vibes. come from um well i actually don't know me and my friend hannah started doing this one day and then hannah added the good vibes to it i really think it means like rock and roll or something <laughs> but we this is good vibes now and i think it's actually paying off because we did hit our routine we did and the energy ever since good vibes has started the energy has been really high so i think we have to keep it up do you think that's like a superstition to like do you have to say good vibes and do this before you do the routine or um, me and Hannah actually do this and then we touch fingers like this right before we like walk out onto the mat before we get called so I think it is going to be a superstition yeah well good I guess next week we'll see if it pays off because we're going to nationals. we're going to nationals all right Lizzie well thank you so much for joining me today this was a lot of fun um I would say good good luck but you know I'll be there good with luck you. To you too yeah, good luck to you too um but thank you I really appreciate it and thank you all for watching I will not see you next week um, but I'll see you twice the following week. See ya.